Investing. So far this year, investing has gone like a Boris Johnson Christmas party. No one wants one, no one's going to benefit from one, but it's happening. It was a party, it looked like a party, with cheese and wine and stuff, you'll find that a party. Looking at the results so far this year, it's no wonder people are already feeling like they're struggling with investing and it's just not for them because you're probably losing money. Just looking at the results so far this year, it's no surprise that people who are new to investing in 2022 just feel like it's just not for them. It's not going their way. They've deposited all this money. They're thinking, yeah, I'm going to beat inflation. I'm going to do it. We do. Uh, all right, comes on. Ready, guys. Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins. And here we are. Negative. Losing money. The world's coming to an end. It's an absolute shambles. And you've got to realise you're not on your own. Like literally, look at my investments at the minute. I started investing at the start of this year with a fresh account, fresh mindset, everything's looking rosy and dandy. And all I see is red. Just lots of red. Just lots of red. So I'm already down. 5% on S&P 500, which I was like, hmm, certain banker. Last year, it grew by 26.9% and it grew the year before that as well. So I was like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna make loads of money. I'm gonna be sat here printing it. But uh, here we are, two months in, and I'm already 5% down on my account. So it's not looking good for me. And then we've got the 2,000 pounds, which was sat in the daily dividend portfolio pie. That does exactly what it says on the tin, daily dividends. And that's down by three and a half percent. So it's really not looking good. But amidst all that doom and gloom so far of 2022, what we've got to realize is investing is long-term. It's a long-term game. It's not a quick in, quick out. If you really want to make money through investing, it's all about trying to enter a market at the right price at the right time. For me, the person who inspired me to get into investing was Warren Buffett. Now, if you don't know who Warren Buffett is, you've probably been living under a rock all of your life because he is probably the most well-known, well, he is the most well-known investor in the world. For example, this is how much of a boss he is at investing. If you gave him $1,000 back in 1964, Right now, that investment would be worth around $10 million. Just let that sink in. Hello. Hello, Warren, how are you? You all right? Yeah, Warren, and that was about a thousand pounds. You can just chuck it into whatever you want, mate, and uh, I'll collect it off you after about 40 years. 40 years or so, mate, yeah. How's that sound? In all seriousness, no. What is he actually doing that's better than the rest of us? Well, he's actually already said in multiple interviews that the secret to success in investing is two things. The best single thing you could have done on March 11th, 1942, when I bought my first stock, was just buy an index fund and, 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 and never look at a headline, never think about stocks anymore, just like you would do if you bought a farm. You just buy the farm and let the, let the tenant farmer run it for you. Basically, what we can take from that is number one, invest in index funds, and number two, invest for the long term. So to try and explain to you what an index fund is in simple terms, I'm gonna hand you over to my mate, Warren Jr. Hey guys, Warren Jr. here. Today, I'm gonna to explain to you what index funds are. Trusty whiteboard, index funds, shares in companies. You've got your eggs, which are shares. You've got your little baskets, which are in the individual companies. You've got your big basket, which is all of the companies that you've invested in, and then you've got your shares in the companies example. Now, let's say for example, one of the companies goes bust. Oh no, you've lost one egg. Oh no, you've lost six. This is why index funds, you're happy, and this, shares in one company, you're not. Cheers Warren Jr, it's up. So hopefully that has just sort of give you an idea of what index funds are. So the second piece of information from Warren Buffett was to invest in the long term. So what he means by that is basically things that are happening today, say for example, the COVID pandemic, 
Although it does have a bad effect immediately on the global market and the economies, overall, in the long run, it's not going to affect these companies and it will return to normality. Meaning that when you invest, you want to be investing for the long term because you mitigate that risk of the dips from those events that can happen around the world and cause the drops in price. And now if you're really smart about it, you'd use those events to invest. So guys, to sum it up, we've all just got to carry on holding and just pray for the best that things start to pick up soon. <laughs> yeah, boy. My investment journey is probably going exactly the same way as yours in 2022. It's going a bit like Boris Johnson's haircut whilst riding a bike. It's out of control, it's not going the way you want it, and there's not a lot you can do about it other than just to wait, wait it out, and just hold those investments. So I guess this video really was just to show you that it's not all doom and gloom. Just make sure that you're smart with your decisions and don't sort of jump ship straight away just because the market's not moving in the way that you want it. Just relax, take your time and listen to our Warren. You're in it for the long run and we're here to make money. So that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Really do hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you've learned something or if you feel better after watching this video. A great success. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.